Hello, my sex and beautiful people of the internet. My name is Diego, also known as the Chilean Retro Gamer. And welcome back to the Real Sadness Naked Gaming Edition. With the first game of the Loser's Revenge Wheel for tournament number 3. I'm gonna be playing Mario Party Advance for the GBA, the Game Boy Advance, obviously. I made sure to play a little bit of this game before I actually started the recording. Fortunately, I am kind of familiar with some of the things out of this game. And especially the early part of it, in which they fucking forced me to make a passport, which I am not going to make because I already did it off screen. Or off camera, I should say. Welcome to the party world. Have fun with mini games and gadgets. Okay, let's let's get squashed by Bowser party. And here we have Bowser Jr., which I always call Baby Bowser. I don't know why. Yeah, let's rock. Don't even think of starting without me. Nobody parties without us. Nobody. Taste my dick. Poor Toad is fucking dead. I call it the Bowser Rampage. Feel it. Say goodbye to your games and gadgets. Huh. Bowser blew them all to Shroom City. Well, looks like I'm headed there too. Wait up, Mr. Bowser, sir. This loser won't dare come to Shroom City. I'm out of here! Whoa, this is bad! You can't play without games and gadgets! Go to Shroom City and try to collect all the stuff Bowser scattered! Everyone here is rooting for you with all our hearts. Good luck. So yeah, I noticed that this game is somehow different from the Nintendo 64 games. Because in here you actually have to... Um, well, at least at least this mode specifically uh, is about um, completing quests rather than collecting stars play with uh, or give mini games and gadgets play battle games with your friends or foes earn coins in a variety of mini games maybe any of these three modes is basically the traditional Mario Party but the one I'm gonna be playing now is this one Shroom City, help out the locals and beat all the quests. But basically follows the traditional big uh, board in which you have to roll the dice, of course, and play minigames. But basically the objectives are kind of different. It's basically to complete quests um, with a little bit of story in them and not necessarily collect stars and basically the game ends basically when uh, one of the catchers gets uh, a certain amount of stars or whatever. Welcome to Shroom City, my name is Tumble, I'm Shroom City's host. Which character do you want to play? Each character starts at a different spot. Alright, let's play as Mario. Are you sure you want to play or to be Mario? Yes, why not? Welcome to Shroom City, Mario. Do you already know this adventure's goal? No, tell me. Sure thing. The goal is to collect games and gadgets. Collect them all. The residents of Shroom City have them. Just help people out to get them. These are the quests, basically, that I'm talking about. Now let's go by the basic rules, shall we? You move by rolling the mushroom dice. The game is over when the mushrooms run out. That's it for the rules, got it? Let's get started. Yeah, basically the mushrooms are the lives, or the attempts. The amount of times you can roll the dice. I'll explain the rules. Use the dice to move. You can move as long as you have mushrooms. There are four different spaces on the map. Yellow spacers are just normal spaces. Green dice spaces let you roll again. Red minor spaces make you lose a turn. Play for mushrooms on minigame spaces. Earn minigames and gadgets as you play, sorry. Talk to everyone and accept their quests. Please get Party World back to normal. So, yeah, this actually has a sense of progression as such. Goomba lives here. He's nicer than he looks. I'm sure he's got lots to tell you. Okay, apparently that's the next quest that I'm supposed to be uh, doing. Stop the dice block by pressing the A button. Use the control pad to move accordingly. First, solve the quest at Goomba House. 
tutorials. So you can go in any direction here as you can see, but let's do what the game wants me to do, which is to complete this quest. Press the A button if you want to stop here. Well, do I have more choices? Goomba House, would you like to stop here? Yes. So we have a little bit of story before this. We got dialogue choices, and in such cases, I'm going to be making save states, because sometimes I might just want to see uh, a funny answer, basically to see this guy's reaction, and well, basically sometimes that can, but can have negative consequences, as in not being able to solve the quest, basically because I chose uh, a bad uh, answer, in this case. Howdy, I'm Goomba. Here's the scoop, I think it reads. All these things fell from the sky. Everyone got a minigame or gadgets. If you help folks out, they'll give you minigames and gadgets. Will you help me out? What if I say no way? Not interested? Gee, thanks for nothing. And then you are kicked out, basically. And you are unable to solve this. And basically you waste another mushroom. That's basically in case you don't want to solve this quest or complete this quest and do another one. But I'm going to go for sure. Kind Goomba. My quest is easy, it's just a tiny errand. Go to the train station and get me a ticket. Will you do it? Okay, what's the difference between sure thing and I'll go? You're so energetic, I love that! Listen, the station is to the left of here, yes I saw it. All you have to do is get me the tickets. And I guess now I'm gonna use another... Mushroom. When you accept a quest from someone, the quest icon appears. Next, head over to the train station. We are still in tutorial mode, apparently. Train station, would you like to stop here? Yes. Oh, he hello, I'm Shy Guy. I'm the station master. Uh-oh, so Goombas got you on an errand? What did he ask you to do? <laughs> I forgot. What did I need? What did he ask you to do? I forgot, I'm gone. No. <laughs> Buy a ticket. Alright, one ticket for Mr. Goomba. And you got the ticket? Okay, that was actually... Not even a minigame as such. Yeah, I know that. Goomba House, would you like to stop here? Yes. I actually play as Yoshi on my off-camera test. And actually, they made me start somewhere else in the, in the board. Which means I was doing different tasks, other tasks. I got an egg roll. That's how you get minigames and gadgets. So now you're gonna get them all, huh? I'm just sad, I can't help you out. Good luck. I'll be seeing you. Okay, so I guess uh, when you see the star there, it means that you may get. So yeah. This apparently has a sense of progression to the point of dealing with some sort of final boss type of thing. I mean, you can see these pipes. I guess you eventually remove these statues of the pipes and you can eventually beat the game as such. That's why I feel like this is different from the N64 games, which I haven't played much. I played the first one a lot, but the other ones I have watched them a lot and they all kind of work the same, like competing among the guys and, and get the stars and wins whoever gets the most stars. And this one, again, it feels different, which I, I like it because it's a, it's a Mario Party game made for one player, or for one player only. Which it, for many people probably is, it is senseless. What if I say I give up? I was all ready to go. I have 10 gadgets. Complete quest to, for a chance to earn them. You have to do two more quests, then you'll have a shot at getting one. Okay, so by completing two quests, I can go visit Bowser, apparently. So, one more to go, I suppose. Okay, take the gadget to Playland, try to earn every minigame and gadget. Get party all back to the way it should be. So, you'll get three mushrooms if you win this game. Oh yeah, when you... Basically, are running out of mushrooms, they give you the chance to collect more. And apparently you get a game over if you run out of mushrooms. Again, it, it's like lives. Cloud Climb. Reach the end before the time runs out. 
bounce off clouds and springboards until you reach the sky high goal. By the way, I'm going to be making some at the beginning of each mini game, so we can actually try to win. All right, it seems fairly simple. Way too simple to be true. Holy shit, that was kind of a joke. That Mario face, though. So yeah, this game could be a little bit long, considering that there are, I think, 48 quests or so. I don't know if I'm gonna actually attempt to complete them all, but I can try, or at least play as many as I can. But, I mean, if after a couple, you know, if after a couple of weeks, basically four episodes, I feel like I'm not progressing much at all, or we feel like we have seen everything in the game and it's not really worth continuing, I'll move on to the next game. Or we can do what we did in the last tournament when we had these two hidden of the games together, one after the next. So I can do a couple of weeks of this game and then we go back and forth with the future projects. Uh, well, there's actually one more game to go in tournament three here. Or even start tournament four if this game actually gets too long. I don't know. Flutter on the third floor is in love, but who's the object of her affection? Is that a she? They didn't know. Okay, I'm getting high numbers. Uh, no, because I was assigned another thing. Wait, is this where? Is this where I was supposed to go? Mushroom Condo, would you like to stop here? Oh, third floor, they said. Okay, I guess I gotta be more specific. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm fluttered. I've just been feeling a little blue lately. Oh, too bad. Oh, that's so heartless of you. <laughs> Talk to me. Hearts of Looter. Oh, that's so sweet of you to listen. My problem is that I'm in love. But there is more. I'm so embarrassed. It's an unrequited love. When I see him, I get butterflies in my... St okay, the jokes. I'm so shy. Would you mind telling this guy how I feel? Oh no, Nintendo. What kind of lessons are you trying to deliver to the kids? If you do it, I'll give you a gadget. If I have to. Oh, come on, it's only a, a teensy wincy favor. Listen, I don't know my sweetest name, but... What? But nobody's got eyes as big as his. Say I love guys with big, deep blue eyes. Go find the guy with the big blue eye. I think I know who he is. And apparently I cannot solve any other quests. What if I choose another... This... Of course. Oh, you dad... Would dad... Do that for me? I'm so happy. I'm afraid I don't even know his name, but nobody's got eyes as big as his. Yeah. Okay, this second answer actually doesn't have any... Further repercussions other than just... The tension of the dialogues. Okay, you can actually take a look at the place. Check out Shroom City with their R button. It comes in handy if you ever get lost. So yeah, the guy with the big eyes, where is he? Wait, so I cannot move away from this area? I think it is in here, right here. Mr. I. Oh my god, the jokes. So I actually should have gone the other side, right? Wait, where am I? I'm, I'm right there, all right. All right. Oh, you're stopping a minus space. That's going to cost you a turn. So now, since I'm running out of mushrooms, I have to spin this again. Okay, this is the last mini game I'm doing for today, guys. Before ending it, reach the end before time runs out. Go, go, Pogo! Hope on a Pogo stick and head for the goal while avoiding piranha plants. Did I play this before? No, I didn't. Alright. Okay, why aren't the piranha plants showing up? No! Do it again. The idea is to win, right? So yeah, Mario Party Advance. I mean, it is to be expected that the minigames will be in 2D. Which I'm fine with. Again, this is different. 
I mean, we got enough N64 and GameCube games, well, enough Mario Party games in general. Oh, okay, that's a definite game over. So you have to be good at games. Or maybe not to hurry. No, that, that, I guess that explains the amount of time that they give you. Which is plenty. We got it. Yeah, after like three tries. All that just to get extra mushrooms. How many? Three? Yep. So guys, that's gonna be it for today. Oh no, that was shitty. Koopa Kid here. If you win a minigame, I'll give you one mushroom. If you don't win, I'll take one mushroom away. You are going to play, well, we will find out next time.